What is going on, SKF here, and welcome to an 84-rated Lucas Torreira player review. So he's got this Road to the Final card. Kind of reminds me of his Footmas card last year, which was really popular among FIFA players. And yeah, he's got a pretty good card this year. Pretty interesting, actually. He could be really good this year because he's not like a traditional CDM. He's pretty short. He's five foot six. Not exactly a physical presence either, but... You know, he's kind of like Conte in a way. You know, he's got that extra agility and pace. So he could be pretty good in this game's meta, you know. And, yeah, it's definitely a card you also want to keep track of. Because I've heard some stories. Not an Arsenal fan, so you guys probably know better than me. But he's, uh, I've heard some rumors. His agent has come out said some pretty interesting things. Saying he's unsettled. Doesn't like his, his role that he's playing. Because I think he's playing in a more attacking role. So, so it will be pretty interesting to see. He's also come out and saying he's missed Italy a lot. And he preferred Italy a lot more. And yeah, I've seen him linked to like Milan and Napoli. So it could be interesting if he does get that transfer to January. I don't know how uh, how much of a problem it is. But yeah, definitely one you want to keep track of. Because I remember last year, I think it was Hamshik. He moved to China in January. And he had that Europa League card with Napoli. So it stopped getting upgraded. And it, you know, it plummeted in price. So yeah, if this Torreira, of course, if he does transfer in January, it will definitely take a huge hit on the on his price so definitely something you guys want to be careful of and definitely keep track of but uh yeah his card itself we'll get into the stats anyway he's he's got some pretty good stats we'll start out with his pace 81 excel 73 sprint speed pretty normal pace for a cdm and like every cdm i would recommend boosting his pace with like an engine if you want to improve his on the ball abilities or a shadow or an anchor to really boost that defensive ability so yeah pace pretty average attacking wise he's, he's pretty decent he makes some nice attacking runs through the middle he makes these like surging runs i don't know it's really weird so definitely contributes to the attack in some way shape or form not the greatest at shooting those stats are pretty pretty average i'd say his passing's pretty good he distributes the ball really well 76 vision 86 short pass and 78 long pass he's got you know average defending stat or sorry dribbling stats but he feels really good on the ball because he's so agile and small 95 balance 87 agility 83 ball control and 79 dribbling three star skills as well which isn't great but feels very good on the ball because he's he's so you know agile so fun to use he's also got pretty good defensive stats kind of reminds me of you know Conte but Fabinho as well he reads the play more of like a zonal type defensive player and doesn't really go into tackles even with the 89 aggression he's more of like a positional player and he's always in a good spot to intercept the ball 88 interceptions 86 defensive awareness so very good at reading play 86 stand tackle 78 slide tackle as well he's also got 88 stamina so he won't you know won't run out of energy throughout the game so overall it's a really good well-rounded card and if it does get upgraded which he probably will because you know he's in the Europa League and he stays at Arsenal I think this card could be a top top CDM in the Prem so definitely one that's at a pretty good price at the moment so if you guys want him probably be a good time now but uh yeah that's gonna be my Torreira review please like the video of course comment down below who you want to see next subscribe and thank you for watching